I have all my fingers, the knife goes chop, chop, chop. If I miss the spaces in between, my fingers will come off. And if I hit my fingers, blood will soon come out. Alright guys, it's that time of the week again. It's time for another Meteor Raptor Reviews. I am the Meteor Raptor, that should be pretty clear. And today I'm gonna take a look at a film I'm not sure many people know about. Now, this review is going to be a bit different. I'm, well, you know what, you'll understand. Today's film came out in 2010, and it's called Monsters. Yes, folks, some of you may have heard of this, some of you may not have. Uh, it stars, well, let's see, Scott McCary and Whitney Abel. It runs about 94 minutes. No, 2011, my bad. Wait a minute, what? Whatever, it's 2011, my bad. And it was directed by... Written and directed by Gareth Edwards. How did I find this movie? Well, maybe... I've had this film for just over a year and a half, maybe. Because at one point, I was in a used video store, and I saw this thing for five bucks. And I thought, Blu-ray, five bucks. I read the back. It looked amazing. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to buy this thing. Now, the writing. I don't know what happened, but I hated this movie. I'm going to be like, just straight up with you guys. The entire film, from what I can understand, from what I've, I saw the film twice, and this thing was more confusing than Inception. And Inception was pretty confusing. Good, good though. I'm not saying Inception was bad. But anyhow, it's just... Pretty much, um, these aliens come to Earth, and then in NASA, they put off this one thing. They mark off this thing in Amer in Mexico, obviously, called the Infected Zone, where all the aliens are. And this guy, he's trying to get a girl back to America, and they have to go through the Infected Zone, and... Everyone said it was amazing, like, just on the front, it's... Just, it says, like, on here, the best monster movie of the millennium. You don't even see the monsters until, like, the last two minutes. The characters, they're both just... There's, like, really only two characters in this whole film that, who are named. And they don't really have any depth. They don't have any personality. They don't... You don't have any reason to care about them. And that's kind of a problem in a movie. So, yeah. Well, moving on from that. The writing was not good. And I was really expecting something great from... When I was reading on this thing, like, it just looked to be really good. These special effects. What very few effects were in here were all CG. They actually look very, very decent. Like, that's, that surprised me. And this film was trying to build up with a lot of... Now, this film has one problem, and it is so big and so glaring. And that problem is pacing. For about the first 40 minutes of this movie, it's just the two main characters doing like a tour in Mexico. And they could have cut maybe half an hour out of that and maybe added more with the monsters actually doing stuff. And that would have improved this film so much. And I'd like to touch on one thing real quick. Who here knows the movie Cloverfield? I do. Uh, you know how that film had some really, really shaky cam, and so did the other one, Blair Witch Project, even though I'm not sure they're by the same director, but you get my point. They both had really, really bad camera usage. Well, for a found footage film, they were both pretty shaky. The opening three minutes, where you get a brief glimpse of the monster attacking a bunch of people, on, like a bunch of military guys on a truck, the camera usage in that scene makes Cloverfield look like it was shot on steady cam. I'm not lying. And the rest of the camera usage was actually really good, so... Yeah. Music, nothing special here. Well, I can't remember anything about the music. The acting, I didn't touch on it, actually. <sighs> yeah, it was, it was mainly... The, it was, they were kind of wooden, kind of, but it still worked. It was good enough that the acting wasn't bad. But just the pacing in this film was so horrible. Now... Before I go... I have kept this film for about a year and a half. You may be questioning why. If I, if I didn't like this film, why do I still have it? I went to IMDb. Yeah, I'm a member on that website. And I checked out this movie. I checked out the user reviews. 
At least 95- at least 90% of all the reviews I read, people were saying it, the film was amazing, it was so good. I have a request. If anybody who is watching this has seen this movie, and they can tell me why this film was so good, please, I am begging you, post a comment below. Tell me why it was so good. And I am willing to go back and watch this thing again. Then if I can see why it was so good, I will happily and very enthusiastically re-review this film and give it a positive review. So right now, can I review it? Can I just recommend it? Not really. Unless you're absolutely desperate to see this film, or you want to try and prove me wrong and point out why it was so good, go ahead, go ahead, please prove me wrong. Prove, tell, tell me that there is something good to be found in this film, because I wasn't finding anything. Now, if you, if you guys want to see a good monster movie, I'd have to say go, I don't know, go watch Godzilla for all I care. Go watch Pacific Rim. Yeah, go watch that movie. That movie had monsters, and that movie was done well. So, yeah, I can't really recommend this film unless you like to dig apart, take apart a film and find what's really inside it. If you can, please tell me. Well, that's all the time I have for this week, folks. Until next week, this is the Meteor Raptor saying, I will see you guys around. Oh, I have all my fingers. The knife goes chop, chop, chop. If I miss the spaces in between, my fingers will come off. And if I hit my fingers, blood will soon come out.